Hello everyone and welcome to this chapter. In this chapter we'll be discussing Blockfolio. They recently did an update as I'm recording this. It's November 8th, 2018 and they just recently did a, a major overhaul of their user interface and user experience. Um, so I'm going to kind of walk you guys through that. You're Right now you're looking at my iPhone screen and the first thing I want to teach you guys to do is download the actual app. So if you're on Android, then you go to the Google Play Store to download your app. But on the iPhone, you click on App Store, you type in Blockfolio along the top. The first thing that comes up is a Forex, um, you know, ad. So it's not that, it's the second thing, the white B with the black background. Click open on that. I already have it. So I could click open on it. You would have to download it and then click open. Go into it now. And all of the coins here that you I'm that I have on mine might be a little bit different than the ones that they have preset. Don't let that throw you off. Now, if you wanted to add a transaction, you could go to the bottom, the plus button here, and click on that. And then you would you could search from over four thousand coins. And so let's say you wanted to see dash you can watch it and not add a transaction at all or you can add a transaction so we'll just do the transaction and let's say you bought some dash so there's the buy button if you sold some there's sell there and if you just wanted to watch you could click watch but let's say we we bought some you can say what the exchange is. You can say global average now, which is pretty cool. It takes the average from all of the exchanges. If you scroll down, you could go to the actual exchange that you bought from. So let's say we went to, you know, we bought it from Bitfinex. Um, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have the right pair. So if you bought Dash to Bitcoin and not like Dash straight to USD. So make sure you have that there. So let's say it's Dash to Bitcoin. And then you could say the price um, per coin, or you could say the price in total now. But let's say it's the price per coin, and then you could say the quantity. Let's say you bought a hundred dash, which cost, which the total cost would be two point six BTC, um, according to the price in BTC that you have there per coin. So if you bought it at a lesser price, you could always change change that as well so let's say it was you know 0 0.025 bitcoin which 100 would cost 2.5 bitcoin you could say the date that the transaction occurred on and the actual time as well now you could put that in there and you can deduct it from your bitcoin holdings so if you already have some bitcoin or the transactions for bitcoin in Blockfolio, and you say that you had like, let's you know, say you have five Bitcoin on there, um, and you click deduct from Bitcoin holdings, it would actually go down to 2.5 automatically. But we don't have that right now, so we're just going to leave that button off. And finally, you can now put the exchange transaction fee. Um, these are all really cool updates that they made, actually. This is all really cool stuff. So let's say it's 0.05%. Um, is the exchange transaction fee you can save the buy transaction give it a second and now you'll see right there 22,000 wow that'd be nice <laughs> um, so that's that's how you would add a transaction now if you were to go back into dash and you want to you know click on a sell or something like the bottom here is uh, add transaction so you can do another transaction there. So now you could do a sell one. Same sort of thing. You choose the exchange. You choose the trading pair. You choose the price, the amount. And then you can now add to your Bitcoin holdings here. You could say the date and the time, what the transaction fee was, and then click save on the sell transaction. I'm just going to leave that off for now. Yeah, so that's how you would add transactions. If you wanted to just simply watch a coin i kind of showed it to you guys earlier but let's just go to one so if you wanted to just watch monero it's very simple you just click watch and now monero is added to this list there it is there and you can see what's going on with it now another thing that they've done is now at added different time 
phrase, um, times that you can check the chart on. So if you wanted to see the Monero chart for the last year, you click on this one Y and you could see it there. And the last six months is there. So now I have it set to the global average, but I can have it on any one of these exchanges as well. Or I have it on the right hand side is um, Monero to Canadian dollars. I have mine set to Canadian. So I will, I can change that in a little bit. I'll show you guys how to do that as well. And at the bottom here are all the signals for the coin. So um, Blockfolio does what's called signals. So anything, any news to do with this coin will be, you can f find on here and you can actually set alerts for signals as well. And not just signals, but uh, price as well. So if, if it goes, you know, if you want to know if Monero is going to go up to a certain amount or come down to a certain amount, you can add those alerts and you can see the, the book here and your trade history. So all of those details can be found there. Now, another thing that you can do is right now I have the signal notifications enabled, but you could disable signal. You can disable signal notifications for Monero. And let's go ahead and talk about Signal a little bit. So now that we've added Monero, you're seeing it at the top. Dash is also there, Aon Network, Zero X Project. So all of these um, coins, I want to kind of keep up the date on and see what the news is, the latest news about them are. So that's why I have the Signal open here. So if I was to, you know, Click on this one, it'll take me to the medium, the actual report about it. So let's just go back. Let's say you want to add the coin to your signals. So you would go here and along the type, you could enable signal notifications, right? That's the, that's the way that you would see the signals for VChain. So go home, click on VChain the top right hand corner, um, the little dot, 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 and you click enable signal notifications. And if you want to get rid of one of these coins here, let's say you, you don't want to watch uh, Tron anymore, you could just go here and on the bottom left hand corner, you see unwatch, you could click on that and you won't see it anymore. Now, another th cool thing that they've added is the ability to change portfolios. So let's say you have your own main portfolio. This is yours, but you're also kind of looking after your, you know, sisters or brothers or your mothers or whatever it is. Um, whoever else's portfolio that you're looking after, you can scroll to the to the right now and add a new one. Now I don't know the exact number of how many you can add, but I mean, there's at least three because. There's a test one there that I put, and then here's another one that you can put as well. So the way to do that, you know, scroll along the top. So not on the side where the coins are, but actually where it says main portfolio, scroll that to the right, and this is where you'll get it. And then we'll, we'll scroll again, click create new portfolio. You can name it whatever you like. So let's just call it test two. And you can choose the color that you want it to be and create portfolio. Obviously, this portfolio is completely empty. Now, another cool thing is when you, within the, the blue bar at the top, you're seeing the, you know, the amount of money that you've made, if it's in the green or in the red. Now, if you click on the actual dollar amount it'll change it to a bitcoin amount and if you click it again you could see the eth amount and if you click it again then it goes back to the dollar amount so right now i have it set to the canadian dollar but if i wanted to change it the way i would do that is go to the bottom right hand corner where it says settings click on that and right there the default fiat currency is canadian dollar i click on that and i can change it to whatever i want and i could search here now so i could just say usd there it is there, click on it, and now that's my default. And when I go home now, I'll see the USD equivalent. 
And finally, along the main portfolio tab there, the blue tab, on the, the bottom part of it there, there's a little chart. So if you click on that, it'll actually show you your chart. So obviously, we've only done one transaction, but if we click on the last hour, it'll show us a little bit more about what's going on. The last 12 hours, the last day, three days, you know, week, month, three months, six months, and a year. So you can see your own portfolio, and that is for every one of the portfolios that you have on here. Wow, it looks like you could add a bunch. Here's a here's a fourth one you could add too if you needed to. Um, so that's the way to go about that. Um, finally, along the top here, when you click on the the dot 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 on the top right hand side, you're seeing the options here. So you could see the so if you wanted to see your percent in holdings, so if you click show percent holdings, that's what it's going to show you there, like the 100%. So that's 100% of what we have is dash. So 100% of what we have is dash. Now, another thing you could do is you could sort by holdings. So if right now I have holdings at the very top, but if I was to actually click on holdings, it would go to the bottom. I mean, it's 100% dash right now, so that's not going to change. But if it was, you know, 60-40, then you would see the difference in it. And if you have a bunch of coins that you're holding, then you want to kind of see what your um, overall portfolio looks like. Then you could see if you want it, you want it by ascending or descending. Um, the other thing you could do is do it by coin. So alphabetically by coin. So if you click on coin on the left side there, it will show it to you alphabetically. A to Z or Z to A and price is another one. So this shows the, the price difference um, and that's ascending and descending. So there it is there. Yeah, so that shows the dollar amount. So another thing that you could do is if you click on where it says 24 hour, you know, plus 281 right now, the green, it'll change it to percentage. So if you want to see these numbers here in percentage, everything along the middle, like what the percentage changes, then that's how you would do it. Or you click it back where it says 24 hour and it shows you the dollar amount. And you can click explore to see other pieces of news. So just, you know, what's going on in the industry, other pieces of news that might be out there. So this search bar here, doesn't mean that you're searching the news for the actual coin. What happens is when you search that, let's say you you, were, you wanted to search EOS, it's going to still bring you into the EOS bar and you're going to see the, you know, if there's signals, then you could see the signals at the bottom. EOS doesn't have that on Blockfolio yet. So, you know, that's kind of misleading at the top there. It makes you think that you're going to be able to search the news about that specific coin but that's not the case but what you can do is where it says latest news on the right side of that if you click on that button you're going to be able to see all of the different news outlets that blockfolio has partnered with so if you want to see news from bitcoin magazine and you don't want to see news from crypto briefing then that's how you would change that up and now when you go back here this will change so you won't see crypto briefing but you'll see bitcoin magazine there that's kind of cool because th then you get to see what's going on with um with the entire industry finally if you go into settings you can change the theme so i have it on night mode right now so that's why it's black i could click change theme and make it daytime so that it's all white i like the black part so i'll just keep it like that you can put the passcode lock on it now so if you go here you can enable your passcode so every time you open it up, a passcode um, needs to be entered. So this is a completely different passcode than what your iPhone passcode would be. So don't mistake it like it's the same thing. But we're not going to do that right now. You can, again, another way to kind of put signal notifications is through this. Now... I don't like a bunch of notifications coming up on my phone, so I could actually turn it off so that you'll still see the signals in your feed, but you won't get notifications on your phone. Or you could do it so that it's on and you could turn off, you know, let's say I don't want 
everything from Tron and EOS or whatever, and then you want just the one, just those other ones. So you could do that that way. Um, you can hide balances if you wanted to take a screenshot, then it's all hidden so that you could take a screenshot and send it to your friend to show them the coins that you're holding. Um, you could show the balances again, and then if you click share a screenshot, then you could choose who you want to share that screenshot with. You can change the language now. So they've added a bunch of new languages. That's how this is how you would do it here. You would copy this token to the clipboard and then so I just try to uninstall and reinstall the the app, but Blockfolio is smart enough to know that if you download from the cloud that it just uh, kind of keeps all your information here. I would need another device, but the way to transfer it is actually pretty simple. So you go to the settings tab here, you click data recovery and transfer, you copy that. And when you get a new device, then you would just um, copy this token and share it with the support. So there's actually a link that... Um, Blockfolio they have on their blog to kind of tell you how it works out and I'm going to put a copy of that link at the bottom so that you could see it um, for that specific reason and yeah so that's basically all that you need to know about the new Blockfolio if there's any questions that you have please feel free to comment below or reach out to us and um you know we'll do our best to answer your questions uh and please don't forget to subscribe and smash that thumbs thumbs up button thanks guys cheers